بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کیو کٹ سکسٹین پریزنٹڈ بائی اے کے ایم رائحان الاسلام کیمبریج سیریفائیڈ انگلیس لینگویز ٹیچر لندن ٹیچر سٹیرنگ کالیس سیریفائیڈ آئیز ٹینر اور بریش کانسل ویلیڈیٹر ٹینر اس ویل کمنگ یو تو ڈیزیٹل آئی سیٹی انسٹیٹیوٹ فور انہیڈر کیو کٹ کیو کٹ سکسٹین Describe a tall building you like or dislike. You should say, what is the name of the building? Where is it located? Why do you like or dislike it? Before discussing the cue card, let's learn some words related to this cue card. Vocabulary for ages means for a very long time for ages means for a very long time example we have so many things in common that it is like we have known each other for ages example we have so many things in common that it is like we have known each other for ages perspective a particular way of considering something perspective a particular way of considering something perspective a particular way of considering something example You are approaching the problem from a completely different perspective. You are approaching the problem from a completely different perspective. Artifact An object made by a human being typically an item of cultural or historical interest. Artifact An object made by a human being typically an item of cultural or historical interest. Example, the museum's collection includes artifacts dating back to prehistoric times. Meditate, verb. Meditate, verb. To think calm thoughts in order to relax or as a religious activity. Meditate. To think calm thoughts in order to relax or as a religious activity. Example, my aunt goes to the local pagoda to meditate for 20 minutes every day. In terms of means used to describe which particular area of the subject you are discussing. In terms of means used to describe which particular area of a subject you are discussing. Example, in terms of money, I was better off in my last job. Example, in terms of money, I was better off in my last job. Dilapidated, adjective, means old and in poor condition. Dilapidated means old and in poor condition. Example, The hotel we stayed in was really dilapidated. The hotel we stayed in was really dilapidated. Ancestor noun means a person related to you who lived a long time ago. Ancestor me noun a person related to you who lived a long time ago. Example, apparently his ancestors came over from France in the 11th century. Example, apparently his ancestors came over from France in the 11th century. Antiquated, adjective, old-fashioned or unsuitable for modern society. Antiquated, adjective, old-fashioned or unsuitable for modern society. Example, it will take many years to modernize antiquated agricultural industries. Example, it will take many years to modernize antiquated agricultural industries. Demolish, verb, to completely destroy a building, especially in order to use the land for other purposes. Demolish, verb, to completely destroy a building, especially in order to use the land for other purposes. Example, A number of houses in my neighborhood were demolished so that the supermarket could be built. Example, a number of houses in my neighborhood were demolished so that the supermarket could be built. A skyscraper, noun, a very tall modern building, usually in a city. A skyscraper, noun, a very tall modern building, usually in a city. Example, New York is one of the biggest cities in the world in which there are thousands of towers and skyscrapers. Example, New York is one of the biggest cities in the world in which there are thousands of towers and skyscrapers. Now, let's learn about the cue card from the sample answer. 
once again look at the questions of cue card describe a tall building you like or dislike you should say what is the name of the building where is it located why do you like or dislike it sample answer i guess i could begin by saying something about what this building is and i suppose i would have to choose one of the tallest building in the world which is located in taiwan the building is called taipei 101 because it has 101 floors now going on to my next point which is how it looks like I really need to add that Taipei 101 was originally constructed way back in 1999 and finished five years later in 2004. The height of the building is 509 meters. It is shaped like a pagoda and the building is safe from any many earthquakes in Taiwan. Now with reference to what this building is used for. Well, the point I like to make here is that Taipei 101 is a multi-level shopping mall adjoining to tower house with hundreds of stores, restaurants and clubs. In fact, it cheaply cost as an economic and financial center for Taiwan. And then finally, if I have time, in answer to the question of how often I visit this place, well, really, I should mention that I have had just one opportunity to visit it in 2009. It was on my 17th birthday to be exact. At the very first sight, I was blown away by the unparalleled architecture of Taipei 101 and I'm sure it will be on my top list of must-go places in the future. Questions for part 3 how do people in your country feel about old buildings bangladeshi culture is tradition oriented which obviously means bangladeshi people have a respectful attitude toward architecture built to last for ages this can be seen through not only many famous old structures that are still preserved today but also in interesting folk tales about their construction question number two do all people and young people in your country have the same attitudes towards old buildings? In my opinion, there is certainly a difference between the perspective of elderly people and that of young people on old buildings due to the generation gap. Elders are more respectful of old architecture compared with youngsters. They enjoy the atmosphere created by old places where they recall the old times, their own history, while the young generation finds it uninteresting. Question number three. Is it important to preserve old buildings? Yes, I strongly support the idea of preserving old buildings. One reason for this is that the buildings represent both cultural and historical values which could be viewed as precious artifacts worth retaining. The second reason is to create a sense of nostalgia which helps people meditate away from their city lives. Question number four. What aspect of culture do all buildings reflect? In terms of the cultural aspect of all buildings, they represent the religion and lifestyle of the time. The majority of the old buildings are associated with Buddhist architecture such as the pagoda, temple and shrine. Apart from religious design, all the structures also reflect the lifestyle of people relating to the tradition of agricultural work. This can be commonly seen in the countryside where there are spacious old houses with private fields and gardens. Question number five. How do old buildings affect the appearance of a place? There are two cases. If there are dilapidated buildings in the area, it will not only make for a gloomy site but also is a waste of land. In contrast, well-designed and well-maintained old buildings are visually attractive and add a touch of elegance to a location, which results in it becoming a tourist attraction. Question number six. What benefits can people get from old buildings? There are several advantages brought by old buildings. Beside the peaceful atmosphere they provide, all traditional architecture plays an essential role as both cultural and historical artifacts for us to study about our ancestors. 
Therefore, when they attract a considerable number of visitors, local people can benefit from tourism. Question number seven. Would you say buildings in the past were better than those of today, or those of today are better than those in the past? In general, today's construction techniques have developed hugely, which makes modern towers more solid than those built a long time ago. However, there are magnificently extraordinary ancient structures that not only get admiration from people today but also remain mysterious such as the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Question number 8. Do you think it's worth the money to preserve old buildings? Although I appreciate the value of old buildings, I think that the government should allocate a sensible budget to preserve them in good condition. As the population is sharply increasing and the polar ice is melting, the problem of insufficient living land has become more serious than ever. Therefore, antiquated buildings which are less valuable should be demolished to facilitate urbanization. Question number 9. How have buildings changed in the past few years? During recent years, there has been a tendency to construct tower blocks and skyscrapers as engineering techniques have considerably developed. Compared with finicky designs of old architecture, modern buildings are simpler and more uniform due to the construction materials changing from stone, wood and bamboo to concrete, steel and glass. Here's a glimpse of my qualifications. You can contact here for further information and course information. And thank you for your time and patience. See you soon.